self-induction phenomenon. To understand this phenomenon, let's watch the shown experimental animation and then interpret the observation. This circuit includes an ideal battery and SBDT switch. This switch has one input terminal and two output terminals, two identical lamps L1 and L2, a resistor, and a coil. L1 and the coil are connected in series, whereas L2 and the resistor are connected in series. Let's start the animation by turning the switch to position 1. When I start the animation, look carefully to compare the brightness of the two lamps. We observe that L2 glows instantly, whereas L1 glows with a certain delay, or the brightness of L1 increases gradually until it finally glows like L2. This graph shows the growth of the current in the coil. It shows that the current starts zero and increases to become maximum at a state called the steady state. The two lamps glow normally. I want you to focus on the brightness of each lamp when I turn the switch to position to observe. So we observe that L2 dies out instantly, whereas L1 dies out with a certain delay, which means that the brightness of L1 decreases gradually until it finally goes off. We know that the brightness of a lamp is related to the current it carries. So if the brightness of a lamp decreases, then the current it carries decreases. Now look at the graph. The graph shows you the current decay. The current decreases from its maximum value until it finally becomes zero. Now, in this study, the steady state is attained when the current becomes constant. In our case, the current becomes constant when its value becomes zero. So this is the steady state in case of current decay.